Okay, it's about 25 degrees Celsius in the shadow. Perfect weather for dash cam installation. It's going to be hot. I have here Carmin uh, Modern Upper 57 camera. It's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS and some other functions. What I really like about this camera, this thing is small. I also looked some videos from YouTube and um, this uh, video quality is quite good for this small camera. I'm going to use this USB cable which came with the package. Of course I will try to hide all the cables at, as good as possible. I have a small problem and I'm going to show you what it is. Of course I, I would like to install this camera as center as possible. Only problem is that in this car there is this uh, rain sensor. It will block all the space behind this mirror. I just can't put it there and if I want to put it here it's just too low. I don't want that it will block my view when I'm driving. So I think only option is about here for this camera. If I if I will put it here it will show so this plastic. If I if I will put it too high it will show of course this sticker. I'm going to use this Garmin Drive app. This uh, Garmin app will give me a live view of this camera. I can better see where to put or point this camera. Of course I could take the sticker off but uh, I can't take it off without breaking it and that's 40, 40 francs you have to buy it every year new. So I think here and here about here that's the only only chance. I can of course change it later. It came with two stickers so <sighs> that's hard. I will put it here. I will just clean this window with the brake cleaner. Here is a small sticker what I have to take away like so and then I just have to push it here I have to hold it a little bit this thing is with magnet so you can take this camera away and then you should press it for 30 seconds now I should leave it for 24 hours actually without this camera that this glue will stick good to this window I will remove this glove box just that I can get this cable better to this power plug which is in the middle console. That's a 7mm socket. One screw is behind this panel so that's why I have to remove it. And the last one is here. Okay. I'll also remove this uh, this lamp. Give me more more space. In this car, there was installed in this kind of a Bluetooth system small screen here it's broken I, I will take this away and I also have to take these cables away there is a microphone and that's also something that I, I want to remove that's a cable for the microphone and uh, I think I could use this to get this USB cable there. So I will just connect this cable here and hopefully it will hold and won't stuck. Let's see what's going to happen. So I got it this far. And that's a good thing. So here's the USB cable for the camera. Now the cable is here 
inside and it's coming from here to this camera. Actually I have here USB block but I don't know does it even work. I tried with my phone and it seems like this. This works through the key. Here in this block there's power all the time. I can't use this otherwise my battery will getting it's getting empty. I just have to use this one. But that's not a problem. If I'm lucky I don't have to remove this panel now because I think here so you can take this away and here you can see a hole. I think I can get this USB cable from there. I try to use this tool to get it here this cable because if I will get it here then I can reach it from, from up there. So I hope this will get me here. Okay, now I have it here. Might not work, but... Oh yeah! There it is. So, here it is, finally. This cable here I can maybe hide it between this panel because there is a small cap. I can make this cable going there and so that's pretty much it here. That's done. That's it. So there it's hiding. Here's the last one. So it's connected. There's no power now. I will now put ignition on. I think it works. Like it should work. That's good. Audio test, yksi, kaksi, kolme, one, two, three, one, two, three.
Kind of the reason why I installed this camera. Uh, of course, it's a dash cam. It will record all the time when I'm driving. Uh, the second reason is that I can get some footage to my second channel, which is all about photography and traveling. Is this footage good enough for this? Yes, it might be uh, maybe a little bit of uh, post-processing colors and this kind of stuff. I haven't seen yet this, uh, this footage uh, in a big screen like a television. I've seen it only in my monitor and it's, it's kind of okay. Yeah, it's, it's not perfect, but I think for this price range under 200 francs, I think this footage is okay. Okay, that's pretty much it. I have a dash cam. That's a good thing. Thank you guys for watching this video and please go and check my other channel. There's not much material yet, but I'm working on it all the time. Uh, link is in the description of this video. So, see you guys next time.